Welcome to another five minute drawing lesson. This week I thought we'd have a look at a sketch I did uh, recently and it's a, a digital painting that I did from life. So it's a Lancia Stratos tub and um, I wanted to go for something quite painterly rather than a line drawing that had colour added in. Um, so I did that like this. I started off by doing a line drawing and I the first thing I put in was my eye line which in this case was level with the top of the car. So there's anything that's level with your eyes that's going to be a horizontal line. Then I looked carefully at the shape of the side window. So I was looking at the slope of these pillars. Uh, are they vertical? Are they 45 degrees? Are they somewhere in between? And dropped that in. And then once I had that, I could use that as a measurement, uh, a unit of measurement to measure the side window and compare it to the front window and see how much bigger that was. And I also measured the size of the door opening, the height of it, this direction compared to that direction. It's a good idea to do a bit of measuring at the beginning on a complex subject like this, just because you get um, some, a few carefully measured landmarks that you can rely on, um, from which you can then branch out and add all the other bits. If your first bits are poorly measured, then everything else is going to be slightly skew with it as well. Um, so I continued working my way around, adding all the other details, so the front wings, those kind of things, and then I could go on to the colour. And the first thing I did on a new layer underneath the drawing was just fill in everything with a solid green, a sort of medium shade. Um, I wasn't too fussy about keeping the edges perfect because I wanted something painterly and loose. And then once I had that done, I created a new layer and it made it a clipping mask. Now a clipping mask sits on top of another layer and only allows you to draw where there's something underneath. So it's like using the layer beneath like a, a template or a, uh, a mask. So I can show you that here that in Procreate. Here's the highlight layer, which you can switch on and off. If I click on it, it says here clipping mask. And it's shown by this little arrow on the side there that points down to the layer beneath. So I, I added highlights in any area that was pointing upwards towards the light. Then I did exactly the same thing again with another clipping mask layer and this time for the low lights, those shaded areas with a darker green. So that's all the underside here, the undersides of the arches, these cutout sections and the interior. Then I made another new layer and used that for the highlights. So I looked carefully at the car anywhere where it was reflecting the light source with a very almost pure white light. So I went my, worked my way around, adding all these little specks and lines and things on the edges of objects. And that's a really fun stage. It really makes things kind of pop and look three-dimensional at that stage. I boosted the contrast by darkening my dark, my dark colours slightly. And then I worked on to the very dark elements. So they were things like the steering components and uh, any other little parts that had been fitted and also uh, very dark holes and things. And these very dark spots work in the same way as the highlights. They're kind of low lights, I suppose, and they're sort of a treat for the eye as it looks around. It's kind of a, a nice detail, nice bit of detail that contrasts with these big flat areas. Uh, I then worked on, to the, worked on the shadows. And the shadows are quite soft because the lights are very high up and spread out and there are lots of them. So it's just kind of a soft rectangle underneath the car. Um, I added a few more sort of brake lines and things in there, just kind of, again, just to add a bit of detail to contrast with these flatter areas. Um, and then I started to think about um, making it look nice. So I, was, I wanted to increase this painterly feel, so I just got a big flat brush and painted these strokes in behind everything and then made them soft by using the motion blur tool and blending them slightly. Um, I was just experimenting, really, just doing some diagonal ones, vertical ones, um, fading ones. In the end, I settled for just a few sort of streaks here and there, just to soften the edges of things, make it feel a bit more dynamic. Um, and my last problem was what to do with the outlines. So my line drawing that I originally did was still there. Um, there it is. But I didn't want... I liked the fact that it made everything a bit crisper and more clearly defined, but I didn't like the fact that everything had an outline around it. Um, so in the end, I, I hid it and made a new layer and using a very dark green brush, a very fine one, like a pencil, 
um, just added lines to the areas that really needed it. So the undersides of things like the wheel arch and these cutout sections up here and the underside of the, uh, the window openings up here. But the play areas that didn't need an outline, like here where you've got two surfaces that are both kind of in the light, you don't really want an outline around that, so I left that without an outline. And uh, so I had the, the best of both worlds in the end. Hope you found that interesting. Um, if you did, let me know in the comments and sign up and subscribe and all that stuff. And I'll see you for another one soon.